What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, this whole thing, uh, yeah, it's broken, you guys. Um, turkey bowl. Uh, turkey bowl, just football. We was playing football at Thanksgiving, and I've been working with a broken pinky this entire time. I thought it was sprained, maybe just swollen, all that. Probably broken and that's probably I went to the hospital last night just to check it out x-ray and all that and it is definitely broken um, We've been working with the broken finger this entire time It sucks. It's painful, but long story short We're good. We, we should be all right. We should be all right, but guys, what is up? Merry Christmas everybody Welcome back to the channel once again And I am excited because Christmas has come early something that I've been working on for a very long time and finally kind of made happen um really kind of started the process at SEMA because this company was at SEMA. It's called Peel. They're a Creoform company. Uh, it's like a sister company. It's like a little sister, I should say, from Creoform. 3D scanning. 3D scanning, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So today, we're gonna try to attempt to scan some of the stuff in the front of this cut list because you guys already know, I've been wanting to build a nice beauty cover for this thing, but I've been waiting on the scanner. I've been waiting on the scanner to really get some good freaking measurements and not have to guess and not have to get the caliper out and all that. And that's really what this thing does. This thing right here, baby. This thing, the bad mama jamma. Oh, baby. Yeah, buddy. Guys, I've already opened this thing up one time and I actually went to use it or tried to kind of set it up and all that. And guess what? I learned a hard lesson, you guys. Let me just pull this thing out with this. Fingers are all clapped up right here, but look at this thing. So I also got the protection package. You guys can see um, they offer a little protection package. Comes with this rubber, um, I guess, casing you want to call it just for impacts and things like that. And it also comes with, let me show you. This little cover, lens cover, look at that thing. <whistles> yeah, man. So, and it obviously comes with power supplies and things like that, and then obviously software. And we also got to do is we got to actually calibrate this thing. It comes with the calibration board that's actually located on this thing. Here, let me see if I can pull this thing off with two fingers here, huh? Come on, let go, let go. See? That's our calibration board. So we're gonna do that here in a second. But I wanna tell you guys the hard lesson I learned. Um, like I said, I, I invested in this thing and I didn't take something in consideration. And the biggest one was uh, power to run this thing. Like for example, software, hardware, hardware really is what, what I'm talking about. A laptop or a PC or something. I have two laptops guys and neither one of them was compatible. Hard lesson learned. So, we got a new one. Look at this thing. Yeah, man. So we had to get a new freaking laptop, you guys. This is kind of more of a gaming laptop more than anything. This thing has the power to operate that freaking machine, you guys, because at the end of the day, this thing needs a lot of processing power and RAM and a good, nice video card, graphics card. So we got this guy here, and this guy should be more than enough to get us going. So let me hook this thing up real quick. Let me set it up. Like I said, it's just a few plugs. We got to run power for that guy. And then we're going to have to run the USB cord also to the back of this thing. And then we'll start calibrating. But it also comes with a bunch of these little dots, you guys. These little dots, what it's going to do is you put these on whatever you're scanning. And it basically helps keep track of where you're at, where you left off, and kind of just to coordinate everything inside the program and software there. So... It really just helps this thing know where it left off. But we're gonna use those as well. Let me see if I can get this thing set up a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, we are hooked up here. Laptop is hooked up, USB ready to go, power as well. We got the app opened up here, the software. And then we have our calibration board laid out. So let's see if we can figure this thing out real quick. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, see, so before you guys, before I was trying to do it with my old laptop, not even old, it's not even that old, maybe a year or two old, it would say video card not compatible. And that's when I really realized that I had to invest in a really nice, good um, hardware for this thing to even work or else we had a useless piece of machine. So hard lesson learned. 
If you guys are looking at a 3D scanner, look at the specs. I should have looked at the specs on what was required to run this software. So just a heads up. All right, now we're gonna select, I uh, guess, the size of the object. Uh, should we go medium or large? Let's go medium, right? I would say it's not small. It's not super big, so we're not doing the whole car. So we're gonna go medium, and we're gonna go fine, normal, or coarse. Um, let's go normal because we're not like getting super detail where it's like we gotta get like the, I don't know, something super fine like a hairline or anything like that, right? So we're gonna go normal. We'll do normal, let's see here. Uh, balance, enhance, output. Let's just leave it at balance. We're gonna leave all those settings there. And then color, we're gonna do no color for now because it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna do no color. Let's see. All right, looks like it wants to calibrate this thing. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna start this process. Let's see, we're gonna hit the old play button, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. So we're gonna put it in the center. If you guys can see what's happening, we're gonna move it back and forth. Y axis, X axis, I guess they want us to do. We gotta come up a little higher tilt it a little bit this is definitely kind of hard to do with one hand let me set the tripod up you guys so that way you guys can stay along with me i think we got it you guys i think we're calibrated it's doing its thing I'm gonna go see what A wants us to do next, but hopefully we can uh, start scanning the car. We're gonna put our targets on here, so we're just gonna kind of space them out and see what this thing looks like, huh? We're just gonna put them every so often. I hope those use enough dots, guys. I think that's enough dots. I think we should be fine with that. But let's get scanning. So we're gonna hit pause, you guys. It has a really cool feature. On the screen, you just hit pause and it'll basically you can move around and then you can start again so you don't lose your place. All right, this time you guys get to watch on what's going on up there. Pretty freaking cool, you guys. So, obviously, you can be as thorough as you want. If you guys feel like you guys missed a few spots, you can go back and check it out. But let's see if we can rotate this. How do we rotate this? But we're going to hit this clean button and see what this thing does here, huh? It's a few minutes later. All right, you guys. So, I'm kind of stuck a little bit because I need a mouse. Um, And I don't have a mouse here. I gotta try to find my mouse. I might have left it at work, but you can kind of see the the gist of it right here and, and how this scan kind of scan turned out. Uh, you can kind of see where I had that pole in place. We're gonna have to try to clean that back up. But um, like I said, I kind of need a mouse to kind of navigate through this uh, software, but this is pretty freaking cool. Like now we kind of, like I also trimmed it down It also, earlier and you can see how much of it is left and that we should be able to work with um we obviously have to 
um, go through it and then give it all its uh, certain Y axis, X axis and everything else like that. Basically align it in a sense. But um, let me see if I can go back and clean this thing up. Let me see. Well, you guys, we're going to move on here. Let's see. But I could, like I said, I really just wanted to kind of show you what the scanning process was a little bit. Like I said, this is very new to me as well. But now we're going to be able to just take this scan and work off of this scan. We'll import it as a mesh file. Basically, it's a, it's not a solid piece of, uh, I guess, a part or anything like that. It's really just something to work off, get measurements off of, trace, almost basically trace over on what you need to make. But I'm digging it, you guys. See, I can't even zoom in for you guys. I don't have a mouse. But... Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm super excited. Once we get this thing down, I will be offering a service, like a scanning service. If you guys are local in the area in Vegas, man, and you guys need something to scan on your car or, or something you're building and you want to get a nice good scan, man, this thing is going to be freaking badass. I'm excited, you guys. But you guys already know, man. Merry Christmas. Hey, if you guys need that swag, man, it's hoodie season. Hit gooseperformance.com. And you guys already know. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell for notifications. You guys already know. Stay wrenching.